iPhone SE 2020 is launched and today in this video I am going to share my opinion about this phone and also I am going to tell you that should you buy this phone or not. So hi friends you are watching all about tech and without wasting your time let's start. So first I am going to start with the design and looks. I am going to start with the specifications first. In terms of design and looks it is really good. You will get aluminium frame and also glass back. So it's half iPhone 11 and half iPhone 8 in terms of design and looks. If you will look at the rear side then Apple logo is at the center and if you will look at the front side then it's like iPhone 8 or iPhone 7. So I will say that in terms of design and looks it's like iPhone 11 and also it's like iPhone 8 or iPhone 7. Now let's talk about the display. So you will get 4.7 inch HD retina display with 16 is to 9 aspect ratio which is really old now. Talking about the cameras, rear camera is of 12 megapixel and it supports video recording up to 4K 60 frames per second. Talking about the front camera. Front camera is of 7 megapixel and it supports video recording up to 1080p 30 frames per second. Now all of you might be thinking that why Apple has not provided dual cameras or triple cameras. So basically this is a budget iPhone and that is the main reason that why Apple has provided only a single camera. Also you will get cinematic video stabilization. Now let's talk about the chipset. You will get Apple's A13 chipset which is really good in terms of performance and you can even compare it with Snapdragon 865. Now let's talk about the IP rating. It is IP67 dust and water resistant and talking about the color options you will get black, white and product red color and touch ID sensor is back again so this is really good. Talking about the weight it weighs about 148 grams only and battery life it is average you can say average to above average because it's same like iphone 8 you will get 64 gb 128 gb and 256 gb storage options so it supports wireless charging and also it supports fast charging okay now let's come to conclusion that if you should buy this iPhone SE 2020 or not. So price is 42,500 and according to this price I think that it's slightly high. You can buy this phone but if you want to consume lot of media means if you want to watch lot of videos on YouTube or if you want to watch movies on Netflix or Amazon Prime then I think that this iPhone SE 2020 will not be suitable for you because it has only 4.7 inch screen which is really small but if you want best performance and if you don't care about the display size if you don't care about the screen size and if you don't care about the 16 to 9 aspect ratio then you can buy this phone so i hope you guys have liked this video please hit the like button and comment and tell me that how was this video and also follow me on instagram Instagram ID is AAT underscore 121. Please hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned and see you guys in the next video. Thank you.